thank them for the letter that we got yesterday. Received in good shape. Went out and spent it all the night already. For the kids, that is. Bye. What are you waiting for me? Yes, that is for you. So you can thank me. I'm not, I don't dare to say anything because it's my fault you haven't got a safe before. We made one a half a year ago and it's still in the house. So I guess we're going to send it again. I'm going to send that to him. Why not? I wonder what's in it. I wonder if that thing is recording. Done now. Okay, it was recording all right then. Yeah, but I had to tear it apart last night. It might be humming and squealing now too. I don't know. Our tape recorder's a little bit haywire. Yes, we used to, but. Yeah. But for what? Yeah, why would we thank him? We and his birthday presents came and all the candy. And it sure took a long time. It just came about two weeks ago, around my birthday, the 29th of November. So, this thank you for that isn't very late. And that college reel, it came and it pushed in the other, let's put the other tape along. And then yeah, we made a tape before I went to Alaska. I never got in the mail. And after that, we got been back from Alaska where I took three weeks off from work. And worked on the house, what, 18 hours, 16, 18 hours a day. Oh, then went back to work and worked on the house in the evenings. Everything happened, the fall rains came and <laughs> house was flooding and then we got a little bit further apart and the ceiling came down and all furniture under, books and everything cool and that. Then we got Asian flu and then we got company for two weeks. Oh boy, this is in the fall. Yeah, and our Irish setter that the kids had here for a while, he got under a truck and got killed. Now our German Shepherd, she's just about ready to kick her heels. Can't have no dogs around this place. Cats survive good, but not dogs. There's so much old germs around. This temperature. Nah. <coughs> you know, it's just great about it. I just went and got your letter and said you had an Asian food. It really is a nuisance. Carla had a first some, what is it, a summer flu? Nah. He was so sick, we took him to the doctor's office and he was almost unconscious. He didn't even know about it. We took him over there. And he was, that lasted about a week. And a week later, we all started going around with that day shampoo. So we were sick about for a month, all the time one was in the, in the bed. In the middle of that, while everybody was sick, we got company from Minnesota. One couple came over, and they got sick with that flu. On and the they, way. Yeah, and, and they, then they were sick still, uh, they were still sick in our house. Yeah. No, I, we had some six, seven people sick at once at the same time. They stayed over two <coughs> weeks, and around two weeks over here. Yeah, and Fred and I, we're working on the same job now. Fred's doing okay. They moved into their new house and sold their old one. Some Chinamen bought their house. Yeah, it's a beautiful house. I haven't seen it. We don't dare to go there, place they got such a nice and fancy place, and we got three wild kids, so we don't have ever go and visit them. Fred comes over every weekend, so Lena comes over now and then. Once a year. Well, we've been twice since. This year. Twice since you came home from Alaska. Well, she probably wanted to see what was going on here. Anyhow, <laughs> I guess she's pretty tired in the evenings when Fred runs around. From what? That's what I said, she's tired. She's getting older, but... Oh, Fred I'm runs sorry. around all day and runs in the evenings, too. Yeah, he's just like a young spring chicken. Seems like he's only 20. I don't think anything runs him down. Yeah, we had a fairly good season in Alaska. And nice weather. Not enough fishing time, though. Oh, boy, if I were got those pictures. We got some pictures, we really couldn't see a change in the house. They got those last year, those from Snow Wars, and it was all the old house. Yeah. I sent some for mom, but I don't have a... I don't well, know. your mom is probably showed it to you. So 
now I got him flashed all the new one, new front. That isn't Still much to all. see. We're like a bombed out house during the war in Finland. We just got plastic in the living room windows and no walls on the inside in the living room. Colder than Trish and Helovich, just like they used to say. Yeah, it's like a town, as Professor Roy says. <laughs> it's so cold. And that's a good thing it don't get cold here. Last Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I was out in the yard and raked, raked up the leaves that used to fall off the trees. Trying to play whether I should cut the lawn or not. Yeah, or I didn't have any coat and jacket, nothing. I'm just to search you. It was such a nice and warm. No snow. We haven't had any frost even at night. No. My car radiator froze one morning. That's a couple of nights with a little bit cold. Really been a beautiful summer. No rain, no Oregon rain or nothing last half the year. It's been gorgeous. This is the first nice summer we've had well, since we've been out here. Yeah. And poor thing it was too, because for a while we didn't have any roof on it. Nothing, no walls. Now we have anyhow lots of room. All that basement, it's worth at least a point. You can say any money. Can't tell. If rainy days there's all the basement, how big it would be in a, like, what is it, 12,000? It's a thousand square feet. I don't remember. I'm not going to start conversing it for them. They can convert it themselves. What is it? 30, 34 by 24. They can convert. Thousand feet? Yeah, it's close to a thousand square feet. Yeah. That's a big basement. There's Roy's den. <laughs> Roy's hideaway. Dungeon. So there's den's hideaway. It's a table. Scott, Scott. And all the kids are sleeping there. And even Roy and I, we finally have our own bedroom, really bedroom, not in the living room. So we're getting up in the world. You know, we don't have any walls, wallpaper, no window. Minor item. Yeah, we have room. That's the main thing. Big wheel. Yeah. I guess they have. No, it's probably cold as all heck. What does that say? Wrote about. I don't know. They've written the doggone many letters and sent tapes, and I can't remember everything. Her hogger was sick. Yeah, we haven't heard from her at all, have we? I don't think we heard anything since last Christmas. I don't think so. I guess we heard get a card anyhow from her this Christmas. Yeah. I don't She's know. She's as ambitious to writing as I am. We are. I don't know if Pina gonna, I guess they're gonna sell all the Christmas off. Pina says they are not gonna celebrate it and they're not gonna send it anymore. Well, hell, Christmas costs money. They can't afford it. Who can afford it? Uh. Anyhow, I think I never get through all. Anyhow, I have a little bit Christmas tree in the house. on the sofa and got a bang in the head, huh? You got your first stitches, two stitches, huh? You live pretty long without any stitches for our household. Yeah, five, right? was four before he got his first one, and then he stopped four. That Whoa, it was no. New Year's Eve when we moved over here. He was four when we when moved. When did he get his hand in the ringer? In Oregon. He was uh, four years old and moved to Oregon. He was? Oh, the doll bed. Down and the, the doll bed. 
that they can fix this at school and they are real cheap. They ask, you know, two dollars for what? Four things. Well, the pictures and some of those big pics on two dollars. You know. Yeah, well that's assembly line pictures they can do. That's why it's so cheap. And see how good they are. They are better than those. been in two slides this year already. I had a slide over on the bridge where he was working. He escaped this, and now they had a slide on the other job where he was. So. Roy and Fred be really lucky they've been working almost steadily. And here's the worst year I've ever been. Money is tight and work is tight. In our neighborhood now already, on, in one block, lots of people are of work. What, 40,000 or something? And we got only... Know, there's, what is there? 40,000 in Portland? In Portland, we 10 got... 10% unemployed. We only got 400,000 people and 40 unemployed. 40,000 unemployed. So here is almost everybody looking for work. No work to have. Not to change the subject or anything, but I wondered if Lil Miss understand English yet. Of course, he even talks it. Remember in that tape? <laughs> All boys like toys. I mean... Boys well, like well he, can learn, he can learn that much, but I mean, does he understand it? Don't, that's not <laughs> talking in Swedish. <laughs> I Who don't knows remember. Swedish? Who knows yeah. Swedish? Who knows? I don't think anybody knows Swedish anymore. We don't even know anybody who talks Swedish, do we? No. There are very few Finns. Oh, the Swedes, they like to talk English. Oh, let's see. Oh, sweet. We the Norwegians that I know. They like to talk English? Yeah. They should. Everybody wants it. <coughs> Except the Finns. Why don't they? Too damn stubborn. Too much trouble. It's Too hard for them. <coughs> it's so much harder for them. They don't want to try those on the side. You want? Know I'll go make it over again. How about making the other one? How about making for bed? What Find do you want vegetables. for mm. Christmas? Mm. Never mind Christmas now. You will talk on the other side tomorrow. We talk all of, all about it. Christmas and all about everything. You guys can Grandma. You guys can record before I come home from work. Daytime. Mm. Our kids are so busy after school. We it's only an hour and two hours before all of the neighborhood boys are here. The six seven boys here and that's the only time they can go out before you come home to work. It's five o'clock to start. Never had a chance to. Then tomorrow is different. I'm always watching TV. Yeah, I've been reading on Wilkano's magazine. You got TV now. I guess they got it every night or something. Yeah, but what are they? Are the programs just as bad as they I are? The, the radio programs? I don't even care what you say. If it's anything like it was on radio, why it isn't worth having. I can imagine the bad thing. I Please. wouldn't show any movies. Revolving development. I might show some movies. That would be pretty good already to see all the movies over there. Even over here. Oh, they were. I, were, I would imagine it's a real, real old. I wonder how how old can they get? They can't get any older than we have on TV here. I don't know how their car is running. Everybody is driving it. Lonnie is almost old enough to drive. When they come, <coughs> when do they get their car license? I don't know. Wonder how things are going in Portugal. Where's Trump? My mom wrote something about it. She got a new roof on me. Mister, and her dad were all. Yeah, I know they were camping out there or something. But if they accomplished anything, that's besides the point, I guess. Money, money, money. Yeah, I wonder who of the old people are out there now. Anybody come back? That's me if you want to get You're going to pinch fingers. your fingers in that. Funny thing, anyhow. What now? I wonder what they do at Christmas time over there. <laughs> like
like over here, a cops car and having a Christmas program. We had to call Bradley Jones for it and make all the Christmas presents. Pete has a bazaar, whatever it is. And all the things, run, 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 do, do, do. That's, a, that's one thing, I have only one, one kid at a time who can't be in too many places. And Anne gets to be in a brownie, to make brownies something or make a scarf something or a scarf something. <laughs> that's the fun to be a mother. So it is, so it is. What now, next thing in the house, I guess we're gonna, what, we're gonna do, finish the living room? We're gonna have to do something. Maybe stay still a bit warm. Huh? We got only outside walls, nothing inside now. We'll work up. Yeah, we got some coming climb. They got we got a stove in the basement. The kids are sleeping there, so it's much warm. Yeah. Oh, Is she Yeah. gonna talk to Grandma too? Tina gonna say something to Grandma too? What grade is Nietzsche on now? I don't know. What is it? 32 he was born, wasn't he? 50? Forty-two. Yeah. Forty-two. Fifty. You want to score forty-two? I'm thirty-two. Oh boy, we are getting old, Daddy. Well, nobody's getting any younger, that's for sure. Why don't you call that down, dog? Fifteen. Did he? I wonder. Did he? Did he graduate last summer? I mean, from Jessica or whatever it is. I don't know. Fifteen, they usually do it, don't they? I imagine. Mm. You have to go to the bathroom, just go in the basement. You can always clean it. Yeah, what we both for a kid's pushing. They can't even try to 
big in Africa. You, why don't you go and you play in a kitchen for a man? Little we fat guy, big ears. Yeah, we just went shopping tonight. We got a bear go right now, the kids get their stuff. We had a baby oh, here. Which 
know, it's after one, but last time, night before. Hey, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I just heard on the news tonight that Sputnik's going to be, that rocket's going to be seen over Portland at 6.32 in the morning. That's when we get up. Yeah. From, some from uh, northwest to southeast. You know, watch it. I don't know. I don't Your eyes aren't open that much. No, I've been up too much. <laughs> if I get up, it's scary. Well, I know I wish, I sure wish they let me know if that thing howls that tape when they get, get it. I'm we afraid the microphone is picking up that noise. Yeah, we've been taping lots of music. We got all, I think we got all Martin and McDowell and Nelson Eddy movies. All new movies. George McCall and Mess and Rose, Rose Maria. Uh, Maria. Rose Maria. Uh, Everything. We got <coughs> lots and lots of music.
run. Just let it run and see. Okay. We can always talk something else, but I think you what we're gonna see next. What do you do? What do you do? Okay. Okay, I just want any part. He's watching the fight. Mm -hmm. So now your kids are supposed to make this part. Mm -hmm. Mary, no. Let's see. This one got we wish you a merry. And now we wish you a merry Christmas. Let's sing Silent Night another time. Second time, a little bit loud. Silent night, holy night. This is Carl Herman Wickman. Overloaded. This is Carl Herman Wickman. Carl, this is Carl Herman Wickman. Uh, once upon a time, there was a little Santa Claus. He didn't have no beard because he burned it off last winter when he was coming down the chimney. They forgot to put their fire out, and then Sally uh, put the presents. Then he didn't have no beard. And he's growing a mustache up here. He's growing a mustache between his eyes. And uh, then Santa Claus came this year. Then, no, yeah, the year before last year. Then he said, hmm, this is a good house. Let's see what's going on. So Santa looked, peeked in the window. Nobody was, every, nobody was asleep. So he kept on going on his route. Then he looked on in his little book and he said, who's next? Oh, Janie. Janie's next. Who's Janie? Let's see your address. Here we go. One, two, oh, four. No. One, two, oh, four, one. That is the order. That's way much address. That's what's about Two, one, two, four, six, Southeast Reedway mm -hmm. Street. And Sandy went there, so... Everybody went to sleep except the papa. He he wasn't asleep. And uh and Papa he was sleeping in his nightcap and Mama was sleeping in her nightcap. Then Papa heard a ding a bell. Then he looked out he threw up the sash, he threw up the shatter shutter. Then he saw Saint Nick. Bye bye. Then Saint Nick went on the roof. Then he came down the chimney, and then Papa he went downstairs and looked, watched Saint Nick putting the present under the Christmas tree. Then Santa went away. Then he said, "Merry Christmas and all a happy New Year." That's the end. I wish you a Merry Christmas, Grandpa and Grandma and Uncle Nista. Mm. And baby cousin. Baby cousin is in a different family. I know. Uh, okay, now I am wondering. Will you tell Happy Christmas, friend? Mm. First grade. Me what already what said. Do you want to tell what you want for Christmas or what time are we going to have?
Daisy have two Christmas trees this year. And we, I put the Christmas tree down in the basement. Our kids are going to make decorations for it. Except I ain't. And water is going to be for the stand, Mama. Some, some wood. For the stand. Mm -hmm. Maybe Daddy make a stand for a Christmas tree for a basement. We we made a key for Dad key oh, for Christmas, and then we made a planner for Mommy. Grandma likes more flowers.
back and forth. Yeah. He's going. You, you are Talk like a gentleman. Why now? You talk like a lady. Well, at school we're making money and Daddy's mommy and daddy's present and uh, <laughs> uh today uh Larry Hooker uh he was eight years old. He's a friend of mine, he's in my room and uh what room are you in? what did you do again? Two rascals. Are you still the best beer? No. No? What's and the kids are done with the book. Today, uh, we used some of our real good paper that cost lots of money, and uh, we wrote our the first time we wrote one space writing. One space writing? What's that? Well, just one space, and uh, some of the words are just half a space. Uh huh. Don't you know how to write one space? Don't. That's how you write. Uh huh. What's that? Like that? Carl, what are you doing with that 
Hello, folks. I'm here at Wickman's uh, this Sunday afternoon. It's raining here in Oregon, like it generally is this time of year. And we had a wonderful, mild winter so far. We like it. Uh, on account of us being uh, following a construction game, uh, it has to, well, it has to be good, or uh, if it gets snow or ice, they'll shut the jobs down. If it isn't good, then we can't earn any money. Uh, so far, it's been very good in that respect, as we have been able to be working every day. And we're happy about that. Now... Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't let me interrupt um, you. Uh, you probably... Uh, I'm talking to you uh, about... Uh, I... Uh, excuse me. I intended to say that uh, I wrote about us moving into the new house and... Uh, having Roy's trailer and moving, and it was no trick at all to get moved over. A little effort, a little at a time, and Roy helped us with the three heavy articles. And everything went along fine, and Lee and I are very happy now over there, fixing up things. The only thing she likes to see that the 
spring showing up so she can go out in the garden and digging around and exercise. She likes that. She's very fond of flowers and things, you know. Did she get used to all the buttons on her range yet, or is she still confused by them? Uh, Roy was just mentioning about this built-in range we have, the Elkie Grange, that uh, Lena was a little bit confused about uh, all the buttons, but she's getting used to them now. We seems to work out pretty good. We like it uh, very well. And... Um, we had a friend of ours, uh, Mrs. Wales, uh, her youngster, young fella, took some uh, color film pictures, uh, and uh, she went down to California and uh, she's going to have it developed down there to a photographer friend, And uh, but so far we haven't received them yet. And when I do get them, I'm going to mail some to you folks. Uh, they should... Uh, look all right with all the colors and all that. He's got uh, quite a fancy equipment, this young uh, Gregory Wales, and uh, he's doing quite all right in the pho photographic line. Uh, <coughs> I'm just about running out of what I've got to say now. And, uh, I expect that... Uh, uh, Roy and the folks there getting kind of uh, accustomed here to this Oregon climate now. When they first came from New York, they were they were uh, kicking about this rain so much. But now lately, I haven't heard them say much about it because they're getting used to that. See? Well, you can't change I the weather. I say it's the best weather in the whole <laughs> United States. I know now. No cold and no tornadoes and no flash. That's no nice. No storms. Another thing is this: that uh, we need the the water behind the dams, you know. This Pacific Northwest has a wonderful future okay. on, uh, yeah, on account of this water we get here and all this mighty Columbia River and Snake River up in Idaho and British Columbia. That means that this country is going to be the most important part of the whole United States because electric power means everything to this modern civilization that we live in now. The pride of electric power would be entirely lost. The same thing in Finland, I assume. And uh, so on that account, uh, as our timber is getting cut down and being depleted, we have this to fall back on this electric power. And if we favor cheap rates for the electric power, the companies, for industries, they will be coming here on that account. And that means payrolls and that's what we need we needed some stable industry yeah of stable industry is what we need in this country and electric power is going to bring them here if you get it sold at uh, as, as as cheap that it makes it attractive for these industries to to locate here so that's the important part of the rain and uh, that's one uh, that's one reason that i like to see it rain plenty Talk and about smart. these stable jobs. Hey, Virbi, what did Uzi Swami say that Finland had unemployed? Oh, only some, what is it, some 8,000, 10,000? Uh, they're crying in Finland when they got yeah. 8,000, 10,000 unemployed. Hell, we got 30,000 in, oh, 40,000 in, uh, 40, in the state of Oregon and 20,000 in yeah. Portland. Yeah, they yeah. don't have much unemployment. Where, um, mm. are you still on? Yeah, they're still on. Uh, Just keep talking. Uh, Roy and I, we are working on the same uh, job downtown now, down in downtown Portland. We're putting up a, a st structured steel skeleton building, a 15-story. It's got to accommodate some dental and medical offices. And um, uh, we've been pretty lucky that way. We've been able to keep on work and study, and it's... Uh, it's a long job, it will last for quite a while. And the immediate future in the construction line looks pretty good here in Portland. It's going to be in the commercial and industrial construction, is going to be a lot of activity. Home building is down on account of the cheap, on account of the mortgage, uh, situation. mortgage situation and the tight money policy that was put into effect with his new administration. They're going to build the world's largest shopping center here in Portland. Yes. The world's largest shopping center is going to be built right here in Portland. It's 
The Lloyd Tract, one part of Portland, is going to be $100 million spent right there in one place alone, Portland, and there's going to be big hotels and other places going up. Well, this will be a town yet, city. Yes. Build it up. New approaches, new bridges, mm -hmm. jobs. I, I listened to your uh, tape and spoke in Swedish, and uh, I am ashamed to admit that I'm getting awful rusty in the Swedish. Uh, well, you, you better learn that, by golly, if you're going to go uh, back there. I, uh, <coughs> I get along better with Finnish now, and uh, I also... Uh, thinking about it, I uh, hope it will materialize. I've been thinking about making that trip now to Finland this fall. If Roy and I go up to fishing again, we make a little money, and I have the house built now, so I have plenty of time at my, time to my disposal, and, uh, uh, and uh, I could make the trip, but I should make it by all means before I get too doggone old and feeble. Oh, and feeble. it was feeble. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I guess we all the others have more feeble than you. By God, I think I'm more feeble. I'm only half your age. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. There was a Swede friend of mine. He's back to Sweden, see, and he notified those people back there. He's coming. So there was somebody to meet him on the railroad depot when he come, and they were very surprised. They said, Yeah, yeah through the Niskawara and got more good than the chip. It's really the. Uh, who was that, John that's the, way the, that's the way they greeted his fellow when he came. They were surprised to be able to navigate on his own power without a cane, see? <coughs> well, if we make enough money in Alaska, by golly, we'll all go over there. Yeah. Have a field day. That's when the can old man won't see it. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's yeah. why he won't even see a station wagon when we get there. If he yeah. still has it. Yeah. He better buy another one. Yeah, he better have another car at our disposal when we come. Oh, we'll run the wheels mm -hmm. off. We'll go out to our strum and see what the heck's oh. happened there. Wait a By golly, they mentioned they've been working on one. I guess they're working on Sturavil. I mean, they haven't said nothing about the other one. What's see, when happened? we come back to Finland, we remodeled Lillavil and it made, you know where the chicken house was? Yeah. Well, we left the center part and took the chicken houses off and made, a, made another house out of it. Mm -hmm. They haven't mentioned anything about it. I guess it's beyond repair now. I don't really watch that. Remember when they wrote yeah, the, the picture that the pictures I think were from Little of Ilan that they sent you. So Yeah, I would be very happy to see your storm once more again. And housing force and Yeah, well there's a few people around that you still know. Yes. Friends all go and stay in Lassum and whoever wants to see us come and visit us. I think so. Make that headquarters and they can all come out there. I like to I like to take Alina along when I come too, but she uh, she gets about half a mile away from Portland. She gets homesick, and <laughs> the only thing I can do with that gal is uh, I guess to take her across my knee and paddle her a little bit or something. Heck, she gets homesick <laughs> when she comes out to Wickman. She comes out here by golly for a half an hour. No, I gotta go home again. That's only six miles. Yeah. Twenty <laughs> minutes. Fred gets out here about every week, but Lena we see about what three times a year. Or something, we get a new room or yeah. something <laughs> drastic happens. Well, uh, nothing drastic has happened lately. No, yes, there will be. Then you go, why don't you go and stand for the presentation? Yeah, let the why don't you guys go on the other side of the tape instead of jabbering up the whole yeah. tape? Let them kids then talk and then no, I'm just sorry, right. we can just keep talking here, well, have a conversation. On a Sunday afternoon, it's easier. Yeah, it's no use stopping that thing. Hell, you'll yes. be sitting there all night trying to record something. Mm -hmm. Like the first tape, I think we sat up till four o'clock in the morning, stopping it and starting it and listening and thinking that isn't that isn't any good. No, now we get it done in half an hour. Just leave it on and talk. Just let it run. Morning. Mm -hmm. Me already yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you wrote a letter, we can letter to because you wrote it. You want to see how you write, and then you can well. send on the text. Yeah, you I don't know. Talk, huh? Huh? <coughs> what did he say? Well, uh, we liked the trip uh, to Alaska quite all right. Roy is getting to be quite a fisherman now. He is uh, broke in. He's got uh, two seasons under his belt, and 
It's gonna be all right. And uh, one thing about the Alaska fishing is short and sweet, and before you know it's so over with. And this year it was too doggone short. Yes. And uh, we can, while well, we're working, we're making a little money too, and that's what we go there for in the first place. Yeah, but things keep going up now with that Jap fishing the way it's going. We're not going to be going there very long. They don't do something about those Japs. Yeah. Yeah. What is this other one in the Oh, it's somewhere there. We haven't got nothing to say. You kids might as well jabber yeah. a little bit there, too. Jabber the kids walkie. come in and do their... You guys can make enough noise when the tape recorder isn't on. Why don't you make some now? You gotta tell camera first. Who's gonna tell first what you got for Christmas? Now one at a time. Don't start fighting. Thanks for Christmas for Grandma Kate. Go ahead, Grandma. Go ahead, Grandma. Go ahead, sister. What did he say? Yeah. Yeah. What? Why? What did he say? Well. So, your erector set. Yeah, and your building blocks and your dog buggy. Mm. Thank you for my dog buggy. Mm. Not you you. Keep your dog in there. Tell what the dog's name is. Shirley Barbara Becky. Wait, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Kids, they got electric trains for Christmas. Yeah, and a rector said. Building blocks, trains, mm. parcels. Uh, I got a puzzle. I need We'll get your I finger out of your mouth when you talk. For my birthday. Can't tell. Did you thank for your birthday, person? Penguins is surviving now. Did you see that in the paper? What is that? One of the penguins? Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Hector. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Hector. Hector. And I got an electric iron for Christmas. And Hector. 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 Come on here, sister. Sit in the lap. Come on. Come on. What do you want to do on your birthday? Uncle Flash. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
commercials next and door. He made it. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for the penguin. That's a good taste now. And Jago Red. And the froggy and I froggy sure would like to no, say the girls can drink that. I drank that before. You have? Uh huh. Well, you should. No, I bought that. Is more than me. Well, you only drink milk. Milk, milk, milk. milk. Yeah, he's an old Scotchman there. He's about 82 years old. That's getting yeah, the advanced age. Boy, he's in good humor and good spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy got two and no shirt. <laughs> old one and new. Yeah. I don't know what time they're eating. Who's that? They want to go and play with their electric train. Yeah. Now we've got only Anne left. Yeah, we got square head neighbors. <laughs> ah, we'll sample this a little bit. She came from Finland, we'd rather tell she came from Sweden, from mother. Okay. Do you eat it? Right. Yeah, that's home brew. He's always got a couple of big earthen jugs there brewing. Yeah. He makes out of rhubarb and grapes and every other What's the dad that? blessed thing that he grows in the garden. Yeah. What's that made of? Mm -hmm. That's great. The rhubarb was good. Yeah. Is that that's good. No, this isn't as sweet. This is a drier. I don't like that sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, every I time I go sweet. over there, why, let's go down the basement and see if that's sweet enough. For this you are the only who gets any. I told yeah. Betty one day, and she said, Oh boy, I would never get that. You should go down in the basement to watch with him. <laughs> that's what he took me first time one day down in the basement. Yeah. And he always give me flowers. Yeah. And I don't even ask. No, you're, you're not, not supposed, supposed to, to ask for anything ever. And I don't either. Ma Mr. Marshall just gives me. Are they doing eating? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, what happened to Tina, Annie? Tina, Tina died. Mm. No, they know there was six because we're making tables. Yeah, last time we made the tables, she was sick. Died. Marshall died two days before Christmas. She died be for <coughs> two days till Christmas. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get their baby's brother or sister. But they're still in mama's, mama's stomach. <laughs> now tell, about, tell the folks over there about the little little rat you got. Little pet rat. Sputnik. Sputnik. Ray and got, got the a, rat. Is that your bird too? That bird belongs to Ray. Ray's, Ray's the animal. Ray, oh. And Ray got the bird for his birthday. Well, he got it yesterday, birthday is on Wednesday. He got the bird yesterday. Parakeet. We couldn't hide that day. Parakeet. 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 Yeah. Wanna say what you got to say, Carl? You know, he has to anything yet, and he usually... Most of the time he makes a doggone much noise, he can't yeah. hear anything. Berry key, Our jabber walk. Berry key, berry key, berry key, berry key. Yeah. Berry key. Last night, and Ray got three guppies. Guppies? Guppies. Guppies. What are guppies? What are they? Hmm? Fishes. Mm. I guess they know that. I guess every day we... Oh, I got a full blast, but still. You can 
hear it pretty far. I remember it's been on and somebody's in the kitchen and answer. Yeah. Look at here. Because it's full. Well, it's not full black. Yeah. I guess we can put, it, put that firefly in it too now. This time. You sure? If we get it back. <laughs> I guess we can just. Boy, that tape really must be expensive over there. If that was 890 marks for that one little tape. And mommy got a pen one for Christmas. Glad. You, you were to tell them what you got for Christmas, Daddy. What did I get? Remember? I got all the bills. Shirt. <laughs> you got a shirt for Christmas. Oh, yeah, I got them a shirt. Well, that's Waco? one gal that don't write very often. She's as lazy as me. Who is that? Hogger. Oh, Miss Jerkston. Ray, oh. You, Daddy, you should thank you for your. Sh you should I don't know. She shouldn't have like nothing you. but time. She's all alone. Yeah. She doesn't have anything to write about. She's just by herself. Just goes to work in the morning, comes back home. Well, at least she could say, send a little more than just a Christmas card and say, "Well, I." I've and I Daddy got a shirt yeah. for Christmas. What did the uh, hawker said for you, Ed? What? A kitty cat hat. And... Uh, <laughs> you like that hat? What, 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 me? And oh, I got a, a kitty cat hat for Christmas. Mm, from my hogger. Mm. From hogger. Cool shouldn't have been a hogger. <laughs> did, uh, did you cut your eyebrows? Yeah, she had two stitches. Oh, gosh. How it happened? I had two stitches. It fell down somehow? Yeah, jumping on the davenant. Jumping here on the davenant, oh. landing on our head. Oh, oh. 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 mommy, this was empty. That's the best to put in it now. Mm. Mm. This was empty. Yeah. It was strong, Grandma. By golly, our house hasn't been this quiet in a long time. Yeah. I think I'm going to have the tape recorder on more often. Maybe we'll have a little quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, they know it's not done. They, they know yeah, they they right they're up. all talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe John won't come for his TV now when it's raining so doggone hard. He could call anyhow. The other one is still working? His set is working. I can't do nothing to the other set until I get some parts. <laughs> Gotta get some parts tomorrow night. I would be reading about the TV in Finland. Mother, I, I'm getting loose from it. Sunday, I'm getting loose from it. Sunday, I'm getting loose from it. Sunday, I'm getting loose from it. We're all laughing at those TV programs. You got two hours. And they even advertise the darn commercials. Yeah. yeah. You've got a long, long way to go still. Here we're complaining when they put on million dollar shows and we're still complaining. Yeah. yeah. We are getting particular. I've been spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> I read through their radio program there for Sunday and Monday on the Finnish radio, and by God, I don't think I'd turn the radio on at all. Well, that's yeah. why I said, you know, by your birth, they're more educated than Americans. They have to be.
that's why we're raising a bunch of morons. No, that's why Rasa is so much ahead of us. Big tree. <laughs> what is, what is 